Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Joe Palikathayal. Today is Monday, April the 28th, 2014. I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. How wonderful it is that Jesus greets us with His amazing and eternal love. Sisters and brothers, let us welcome that greetings into our heart and be excited about giving that greetings to everyone throughout this day. I invite you to continue our meditation on the, on the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 20. Today, let, let us focus in on verse 28. The context is, the mother of Zebedee's children come asking, came asking to Jesus to, for a favor. One of his, her sons be seated at the right and the other at the left hand side of Jesus when he comes to his kingdom. Jesus said, it is already allocated, it's already given to the people to whom it has been set apart. But then he took that opportunity to teach a lesson that we need to humble ourselves and serve others. It is the uh, secular or worldly leaders that lord it over others that but Christians, the followers of Christ, must be different. In verse 28 he says, Just as the Son of Man came, not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Jesus came to serve us, not to domineer upon us, not to lord it over us, but to serve us. Serve us to the extent of giving up his life on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins, our debts, and liberating us from the clutches of the devil, evil, sin, and to redeem us for eternity. So Jesus is asking us to serve just like he has done. It is good to serve rather than to, the, rather than to be served. Jesus wants us to follow his example as Christians, sisters and brothers, throughout this day, let us pray for God's grace upon us that we will learn to serve. Serve the people around us because Jesus is in us and Jesus is in them. At the last supper, Jesus washed the feet of the disciples. Then he said, I set you an example. I give you an example. If you do what I did, you'll be blessed. Oh, sisters and brothers, let us learn to serve others. We can serve others in a number of ways. First, praising God for them, asking God's blessings upon them. Second, seeing good things in them, appreciating them, honoring them, doing whatever we can do to lift them up, to encourage them, support them. When they are needy in any area, if we can respond to that need, let's do it by the power of Jesus Christ. Today is the best day of our life and is the, is the beginning of eternity. Let us rejoice that Jesus has come into our heart to cleanse us, cleanse us of all evil thoughts, evil desires, and give us good desires, glorious desires, and attitude to serve others. Will you join me in this prayer? Let us pray. <clears throat> Eternal Father, we thank you for giving us this beautiful day. Thank you, Lord, for giving us the faith that you sent Jesus Christ 
to serve us when we were sinners. He died on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, how can we thank you enough for your death on the cross, for your resurrection and opening up heaven for us? Oh, Lord, continue to come and live in our heart, cleansing us, giving us all sorts of great desires, the desire to serve everyone. O oh, Holy Spirit, continue to inspire us to be excited about serving people, encouraging and supporting and strengthening people. Give us the joy of lifting up people all around us. We ask this blessing, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm.